So today we are going to look at square roots, calculating what we used up on paper with a bit of the rule. So I have a number here, 55,696. I want to find the square root. I've already separated them into three periods. Therefore, I need the trinomial square guide, which is here. And then the quantities are in the cups. As you can see, we have our tens of thousand. We have five here. Our units of thousand, we have five. Our hundreds, we have six. Our tens, we have nine. Nine. And our units, we have six units in the cup. So, let's start on our paper. We have the tens of um, thousand, which we are going to use to build the square. And we know that our square, we are going to use and um, build square out of our tens of thousand. So what is the largest square we can build from this five? We are going to build square of two, square of two. So our first, our first digit in our square root will be two. The square of two, the two. So well, that will be four, two times two, four. So subtract that of one so let's build that bring it down and build Build and square of two. Now, the next square we are going to build. Our square guide. From our square guide, we know that we are going to use our units and our hundred. So let's bring down our next period. So before we build it on the pegboard, just as we did before, we are going to calculate the rectangle we are going to build here. This Towards this side, you can see two, and towards here, we are going to need two rectangles, I mean two here and two here to build us. Together, we need four. So the first layer will be four. And we know that we don't need um, this Hundred category for the square, the rectangles that we determine the size of the square. So we are going to do that on paper as we did before. So our period we brought down, we brought down our period. Units of thousand and uh, ten. I mean hundred. Now, as you say, we don't need this hundred. This is what we use for our square, and we need this to determine our rectangle. So we bring this out. Fifteen. We divide that by four, for that the layer we are going to need the first layer. Four. And that will give us 15 divided by 4. It was 3. So 3 is going to be a trial digit. So our second digit of our square root will be 3. But we are not going to write it here. It's our trial digit.
Now, what is, let's calculate what we have used up on paper. I'm going to give you a rule. I'm going to give you a rule that will help us to be able to calculate what we have used up. The rule I'm going to give you is that you are next to the trial divisor to the new root that was found and multiply it by the new root. It said, and next to the trial divisor, what's your trial divisor here? Our trial divisor here is four. This four is our divisor, our trial divisor. So, and next, so what you are saying is that this is our trial divisor, you get our trial divisor here, four. It said, and next to this, and next means next, just the, as the name, the word says, and next means bring next to the divisor the new root. What is the new root here? The root that have been found is three. So you bring three. So this is the trial device of four we got here. And then bring the new root next to the trial device. So that is three. And then multiply that by the new root. That's multiplied by three. That's how we figure out the quantity we have used up. So, if we calculate that, let's try to calculate that. Forty-three, forty-three times three, three times three, nine. 3 times 12, that's 129, that's what we used up. So we are going to write 129 as the quantity we used up. 129. Subtracted from our previous quantity. So, um, 16 minus 9, 7, 4 minus 2, 2. So we have 27 left. So we are going to bring down the next period. Which is nine and then six. So our digits are second digit here we have found is three so now let us build a square a rectangle here a rectangle here Rectangle here, and a rectangle here, and a square here. Let's exchange. Exchange one ten we have here. Oh, we 
already bought this down paper. We can also bring this down. So we are building a square, a rectangle here, rectangle, a rectangle, a rectangle, and then the square with the hundred. Rectangle, rectangle here, and a rectangle, and a rectangle here at the bottom. Let's exchange this of thousand for ten hundred. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, right here. So we don't have enough quantity quantities to continue with a rectangle so we are right that our second digit is three and we have the square of three here so let's go ahead now and calculate the third digit of our square root we are going to do that on paper as we did before So from the square guide we see we know that we need the units to build the third square therefore on our paper we, we are not going to need, touch the unit we just leave the unit we bring the hundreds and tens we need here we bring that out to build our rectangles Two seven nine. Just as we did before, we we ask ourselves. How many if you are building this rectangle? How many what is the quantity we are going to use to build one layer? out here and here what's the quantity we are going to need to build one layer out we are going to need in the in the 10 in the hundreds we are going to need 200 or 200 that's four we are going to need 400 here so i'm going to write four and then in the tens, we are going to need three here, three tens here, and three tens here. So that's six tens, so 46. So to build one layer of rectangles this way and this way at the bottom, we are going to need 46 tens. So if we divide two. 79 by 46 how many times will that give us i think that will give us six six so that would be uh six is likely to be the third digit of our root Okay. So now to calculate what we have you what we are going to use up to build the square, just as we did before, what is the trial digit here? The trial digit, the trial divisor here is 46. So we said 46. That's the trial divisor 46. Draw the trial divisor 46. 
and then we said annex to the trial device so the new root and what is the new root here six so it brings six to next to this and then we multiply that by the new root multiply that by six that will give us what we have used up so if you do that multiplication you are going to get that means if we do Four hundred six six times six. What well, six times six? Thirty six. Two three and a half. Six times six thirty six plus three thirty nine. Three and a half. Four times six twenty four plus three. 24 plus 3, that's 27. So what we have used up is 2,700, no, 27,906. So we are going to write it down here. 27,906. So if you subtract that from what we have here, you find that you are not going to have anything left to be zero. Therefore, our next digit in our spare root will be six. So let us go ahead and use, I mean, build up a square and verify if we are going to have 236 as a square root. So the first, for the first rectangle, we are going to need the hundred. So our hundred for the outer rectangle to the right, outer rectangle to the bottom. And then we are going to need a 10 for the inner rectangle. A hundred. Okay. Let's exchange units of thousand. Two hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We exchange this unit of thousand again to hundred one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we can continue to build our build them to our square so we have a hundred outer rectangle, the outer rectangle to the right, the outer rectangle to the bottom, the inner rectangle to the right, let's exchange 100 for 10 10. Change another hundred. 
friends for cancer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we continue to build onto our rectangle. So the bottom, the inner rectangle, then our square unit, Okay. Ten. And then our square is our unit. Let us change the ten for ten units. One, Let's exchange another 10 for 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's keep on building our square with our unit so we continue with our rectangle outer rectangle outer rectangle here at the bottom we can hundred inner rectangle we can ten inner rectangle we can tens and then our square our unit Out a rectangle the right outer rectangle to the bottom inner rectangles let's exchange 100 for 10 units one two three four five six seven eight nine ten One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we need to put the fifth one here. Five. Yeah. 
put the complete the square here. One ten left here. I change it for ten units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have square of six. So we are right that the third, the third digit to in our square root is six. And we have just as we have done on our paper. So we are correct. Our square root is two hundred thirty-six. And we can see that here, 236, 236, and we see square of 2, 2, square of 3, and square of 6, so 236. So, what we did on paper is correct.